Are you looking for a short way to master English tenses? Time markers, the short way to master English tenses. All students learn the construction schemes for each of 12 English tenses. But this alone isn't enough in order to avoid mistakes. Luckily, there are words that can signal which is the best tense to use. Time markers in English are special words that show the time, frequency or duration of an action. They help us to define the action and signal which verb form to choose. Simple Let's start with simple tenses. We use the present simple tense to express habits, general truths, repeated actions or unchanging situations, emotions and wishes. So, when you see or think about the following adjectives of frequency, it is a signal of the present simple tense. Always, never, regularly, usually, sometimes, often or seldom, every day, month or year, two times a week, every hour, on Mondays. Here are some examples. We always go to the seaside on holiday. I usually get up at 7 o'clock. How often do you clean your car? She has English classes three days a week. I go to the gym on Sundays. We use the past simple tense to show that a completed action took place at a specific time in the past. The simple past is also frequently used to talk about past habits and generalizations. You should think about the past simple tense when you meet the following words. Yesterday, two days ago, last week, month, year, two hours ago, in 1963, last weekend, a long time ago. For example, my birthday was yesterday. I bought new furniture last week. He was born in 1963. I first met my wife a long time ago. The simple future refers to a time later than now and expresses facts or certainty. For using the future simple tense, we would look out for the following words. Tomorrow. Tonight. Soon, next day, week, month, year, in an hour, week, month, in the near future, one of these days or some day. Here are the examples. It will be very cold tomorrow. She'll be here soon. I'll call you again in an hour. Maybe some day I'll meet you again. Continuous. The next group of English tenses is continuous. The continuous tenses are normally used to describe an action in progress at a specific moment of time or period. The present continuous tense can be defined by the following time markers. At the moment. Right now. At present. Now. Constantly. Let's look at these time markers in the sentences. We are learning English grammar at the moment. At present, we're gleaning information for our project. He is constantly laying on the sofa and complaining. The next is the past continuous tense, which can be identified with the following time markers. At 5 pm yesterday, the whole day, while, at that moment, when, during, this morning. Here are the examples. I was watching the TV at 5 o'clock yesterday. While I was cleaning, my wife was cooking dinner. The children were sleeping when I returned home. He was working hard this morning. And finally, you can define the future continuous tense by the following time markers. At 9 o'clock tomorrow, next Friday from 9 to 10, 
at this time tomorrow. I will be in English class at nine o'clock tomorrow. He will be waiting for me between nine and ten tomorrow. At this time tomorrow, I will be driving to the seaside. Perfect. As you know, we use the perfect group of tenses when we want to express the completeness of an action. When you talk about the present and want to use the following words, it is a signal that you should use the present perfect tense. Already. Recently. Just. Since. For. Ever. Never. Yet. So far. I have learned English tenses already. He's just finished his work. Have you ever seen the pyramids? It's the hottest day I've experienced so far. Past perfect tense is used to describe the actions that occur before that moment of time or another action in the past. The following words help you to identify the past perfect: before, after. Bye. I'd had no money before I won the lottery. She went on a diet after she'd gained weight. They had learnt irregular verbs by the last exam. The following time markers will help us to identify the future perfect tense: by the time, by tomorrow, by next week, month, year. Here are the examples. I will have learnt time markers by next weekend. They won't have finished the project by tomorrow. My son will have graduated from university by next year. Perfect continuous. The last group of English tenses are the perfect continuous, which express both duration and completeness. Though you don't meet perfect continuous tenses in spoken English, you should know the indicators. Let's start with the present perfect continuous tense: recently, lately, for, all day long, since. Examples: I have been reading this book recently. I have been waiting for you for half an hour. Since when have you been living in Moscow? As for the past perfect continuous tense, we can name a few time markers that are similar to perfect tenses: for and since, when, before. These sentences demonstrate its usage. They had not been taking good care of their health before last week. The team had been working hard before the project was approved. In the case of the future perfect continuous tense, we can also think about the time markers similar to other perfect tenses: for and since, when, by. I will have been working for a month by the time you join me. How long will you have been living in Bulgaria when I move there? I will have been learning English for three months by the next exam. Hopefully now you can see how useful time markers can be in helping us to identify the correct tense.